Because oil and gas were substitutes in many processes, oil indexation became the leading pricing mechanism for gas in the 20th and early 21st century in Europe. During this period, gas typically traded on long-term supply contracts, but the European market has changed considerably in the last decade, with trading at gas hubs such as the National Balancing Point in the UK and title transfer facility in the Netherlands having gained rapid importance. These changes have led many to question whether the convention of explicitly linking the gas price to the oil price has lost importance. Over the last three years, a number of academic papers have looked at the main drivers of natural gas prices in European markets, and as a base, they typically track the development of the spot gas market at the TTF hub, since this is the most liquid and mature trading hub in continental Europe. In the short run, fundamental supply and demand factors are especially important for the development of the day ahead price. The fundamentals include the temperature, macroeconomic development, the price of substitute fuels, the concentration and physical supply of gas, and of course the expected level of gas reserves, not discounting renewable energy generation. Most importantly, the literature finds no evidence of a strong tie between the spot price of natural gas, crude oil, and coal over the last five years. The development of gas prices is mainly determined by its fundamentals, though a short-run link between the three commodities is present via fuel substitution and power market arbitraging. Despite being a fairly concentrated market, the changes in the daily gas price do not depend on changes in the structure of the supply side. Overall, it was found that the day ahead prices are predominantly determined by gas market fundamentals. At a pan-European level, the policy measures implemented to introduce competition in wholesale gas markets and to integrate these markets by reducing cost broader barriers appears to be successful in realising an efficient working gas market. These effective policy measures are related to the capacity allocation mechanism and the congestion management as well as investments in cross-border capacity. Policies to further integrate national gas markets within Europe may extend this gas-to-gas -gas competition to a larger region. These policies may also contribute to realising a fully integrated European energy market. In short, therefore, in contrast to the often repeated assertion that European gas prices are dominated by a combination of oiled and long-term contract prices, the most recent studies indicate that gas market fundamentals are now the dominant factor.